I'm Arthur Anderson, Anderson Wise Architects in Austin, Texas. That site is on a lake called um, Flathead Lake, which is the largest freshwater lake, natural freshwater lake, uh, west of the Mississippi. Flathead Lake makes its own weather. It's a very, it's like big lakes do. It's, uh, so it's a very powerful, powerful place, very rugged place. And the winters are, are um, cold. Um, and the trees are big and the terrain was, you know, very steep. And uh, in order to inhabit that spot, we devised a way of making a series of terraces and located buildings on flat areas and terrace down and flat areas and terrace down. And when we did that, um, there were a number of, um, we, we did it mostly in the natural, following the natural contour, but um, there were a number of trees that were removed in the process. They're beautiful trees. And we harvested those and made the buildings out of those, out of that wood. Cordwood walls and it was an interesting idea for us because it allowed us to make a, a wall that was very insulated and protects the project or that building from the project from the northern winds that come in. We oriented the building to get that, that winter sun, which in Montana, the sun gets so low, it, gets, it sort of sits on the horizon for several hours. So these buildings all open up to that. Um, so they have a, almost a rampart-like edifice facing up into the hill. And then all the walls are all operable and movable, so the whole house can open itself up. The site demanded it, but I wanted the, the, the wall, the wood wall, the solid wall. When you approached it for you to not fully understand that you were looking at a building, you might have been looking at, you might be looking at uh, a piece of environmental art. So that's why the geometry is placed the way it is, and it's as simple as it is. And it comes off like that. It comes off almost like it's a little piece of sculpture. You give the material, in that case of wood, you know, that much presence, and expose it for, for what it is, it has tremendous power when you walk up to it. You really sense it, and you really feel, oh my God, this is something. I worked with this genius. which weighs a lot, you operate by a crank and the whole wall goes down and the counterweight is the rail that comes up and the two side walls of that same room slide so you can have a alfresco dining or enclosed dining. The sounds trite, whatever, but nature drives our designs. We've Every project that we do, whether it's in a residential neighborhood or whatever, the, or it's out in the wilderness, or it's in downtown, um, the natural place, meaning the way the sun works, 